Hello everybody, welcome to Meaningful Moments, learning the laws of Lashon HaRa or Echilut. This recording is for the speedy recovery of Melody Odelia Bat Shoshana. In this recording, we're going to learn the actual prohibitions of Lashon HaRa, what is considered Lashon HaRa and what is Rechilut. Prohibition number one, Lo telech Rachil be'amecha. do not go as a talebearer among you people. If a person goes from one person to the next and tells stories like, oh, this is what he said about you, or is that what he did to you? Um, did you hear that they went bankrupt? I can't believe he actually went out with her. There is no connection between them. It doesn't make sense. Uh, did you hear that they broke up? Or all sorts of things like that. These are considered rechilut. Or if they speak in a derogatory way of someone, and that is called Lashon Ara, regardless if that person that they're speaking about is present or not, they transgress the Torah prohibition of Lo telech rachil be'amecha, do not go as a talebearer amongst your nation. The second prohibition is Lo tisa shema shav, do not fo- bear false testimony. If a person speaks or accepts Lashon Ara or Rechilut, they transgress the Torah prohibition of do not bear false testimony. This prohibition is transgressed whether the information we're saying is true or false and whether the person we're speaking about is in front of us or not. The third prohibition is Lifnei Iver Lotiten Michshol. Do not place a stumbling block before the blind. By speaking Lashon Ara or Rechilut, one places a stumbling block before others by causing them to really transgress the prohibition of listening to Lashon Ara. And the more people who listen, who hear the Lashon Ara, the greater the sin is. Another point that we have um, in this uh, prohibition is this one is about the person who listens. So a person who listens to Lashon Ara may also be guilty of placing a stumbling block before the blind. And why? He encourages the speaker to sin by providing an audience for the Lashon Ara, to hear the Lashon Ara from him. Now, if he's the only person listening, this is definitely true. If there are other people that are listening, meaning he's not the only one that's listening, perhaps He's not responsible for the speaker's sin, since, you know, the speaker, the the person that's saying the Lashon Ara would say it regardless, because he has an audience anyway. However, the first person present to hear the Lashon Ara does violate this prohibition, even if other listeners arrive after him. Now, the third point, which is kind of a conclusion, in any case, one must extremely be careful not to sit in the company of those who do speak Lashon Ara. Not to be in that environment, not to be in that, you know, when a group of people, a group of friends are sitting and, you know, gossiping about people, talking about others. Did you hear this? Did you hear that? I can't believe it. Um, you know, nothing good comes out from these conversations. And in fact, it gives a very negative vibe and it brings down the person. And it tells us here we have to be really careful not to sit in the company of those who speak Lashon Ara, since they're all inscribed together in heaven as a society of evildoers. That sounds really bad. Um, but that's definitely something that we can even feel um, now. If we're surrounding ourselves with negativity or negative people, we don't feel good with ourselves. We can't thrive. Um, in a way we're held down, we really need to work on being an environment of positive people, people that are able to see the good in others, people that are able to be happy with me, you know, at different occasions, um, and not just speaking about others. And like we said, whether it's true or not, or whether the other people that they're speaking about are present or not, it is not something we do. It doesn't bring any good. Anyway, thank you so much for listening, and I'm looking forward to be back with our next recording, the next few prohibitions and classes.